Hi, I'm Sean He. This video, I will analyze Kyrie Irving's shooting form with 33 tips. Kyrie Irving is a great basketball player. His shooting form is rational and scientific. Kyrie Irving is a top-level NBA shooter. In NBA nowadays, there are only two top-level shooters. Another player is Stephen Curry. Their 95% shooting tips are confirmed to street shooting force theory. We said Kerry Irving's shooting form is scientific. What is a scientific shooting form? Make a natural and rational shooting force. All tips can be duplicated. All the tips we should know why, and it can help us to shoot a ball more accurate and physical. All the person can shoot with these tips. That is a scientific shooting form. Many members on shotnb.com and here want me to analyze Kyrie Irving's shooting form. So I will show you almost all tips of Kyrie Irving's shooting form one time. Some tips I will tell you the principles, but some tips I will leave you to find the truth yourself, because the unknown is the impetus of our shooting training. In the past more than 10 years, I never stopped my shooting training, just because I want to know why the NBA superstar can shoot so accurate? Is there a scientific way to make us all can shoot like a superstar? In these days, I really felt very interesting. So I will not explain all the principles for these 33 tips. Just like we play an RPG game, we play to the end. Just because we want to find the unknown denouement. The 33 tips include 3 phases, 16 basic tips, 12 advanced tips, and 5 professional tips. If you played basketball less than 3 years, you should better only learn and practice the first 16 basic tips. A good foundation will be very helpful for your basketball career. The 12 advanced tips, I suggest you'd better play basketball more than 3 years to learn. The five professional tips just fit for the players who played more than eight years. Please remember, we can just test three tips one time. You cannot test more tips once. That way will be chaotic. Actually, I suggest you just test and practice one tip in one day, even one month. Then you will have a better foundation. Now let's begin. The first 16 basic tips of Kyrie Irving's shooting form. The first tip is medium hard hand tap. The medium hard hand tap has the most merits of soft hand and hard hand taps. Kyrie Irving rest some in a medium position, not to inward or outward. This hand tap can hold the ball stable. The five fingers almost all in the same direction. This is very helpful for straight release hand force. Remember, do not leave any space in your palm. Before shooting, you should make your right hand be pressed to the max. When you start to release, your right wrist sends all the force to your right hand. Your right hand through a maximized swing. You can also add some upward force from your palm. All the five fingers synchronous make force to the ball. Many members asked me which finger lead the shooting force. Kerry Irving's shooting form is the middle finger lead, just because his forearm is almost vertical in the front view. The second tip is two feet jump with average force. This jump skill will lead your jump shot a good balance. The two feet jump up with the same medium force. The force can make your body keep balance in the hunt time. This jump skill can make your jump shot stable, but your jump shot height will be also cannot be maximized. The high jump skill is one leg lead jump force, such as Michael Jordan's most dunks and high jump shots. Remember, when you stand to catch the ball, your two heels must on the ground. Don't only stand with your two tiptoes. This will make you stand very steady and easy to make a stabilized upward jump force. The third tip is parallel feet standing. 
This is also a inward right tiptoe skill, but the range is a little small and easy to master. Carry Irvin's right foot need a little in front of the left foot. This will help your right shoulder in front of your body and shoot free. The fourth tip is your eyes always watch the hoop. That means Kerry Irvin's eyes will not follow through after his release. Our eyes should always look at the hoop even our shooting is finished. This will keep our head and our upper body immobile. Our shots will be a little more stable in the hand drop shot. The fifth tip is the low elbow shooting form. Kerry Irvin's low elbow shooting form is fit for a long shot, even deep three. This shooting form is safe energy. The torque is longer than the high elbow shooting form. The low elbow shooting form can also make your jump shot without the upper body excessive backwards problem. The sixth tip is upward shooting force. Kerry Irvin's upward shooting force is good for three point. Nowadays, almost all NBA three point shooter shoot with the upward shooting force. This skill leads your shot with a high arc. Relatively, the hoop becomes bigger than the normal arc shooting. This skill is a little hard for many players. Many members told me they could not find the method. Here I share you a neck. You can stand close to the basket. Just take a standing shot. Then your shot is a natural upward force shot. You can close your eyes and feel your muscle and joints in the shooting process. You will easy to find the false pass. Remember the base pass and try to shoot further and further. The seventh tip is left hand press the ball almost on the top. Many players feel their shooting force was not enough. And some players said their release force always do not accurate. Many of these cases are caused by the left hand neck. Your left hand should almost on the ball and a little forward. Press the ball to your right palm tightly. After doing this, your right hand can shoot normally. The eighth tip is straight force to release the ball. This tip is for carry urban release skill. When you start to shoot the ball, you should give the ball a straight force with your five fingers. The straight force is the initiative towards to the hoop. Combine the forces from your five fingers and your right palm in a straight force. The next tip is left hand helps your shooting. When you start to raise the ball, your left hand always on the ball. If you do not improve your skill, your left hand will be a little block your shot. There are many methods to improve this. Kerry Irvin's left hand always automatic helps his right hand force. Not much, only a little. So in a long shot, your shooting force will be converged a little more. The tenth tip is two hands press the ball tightly. When you catch the ball to shoot, the two hand position and force is very important. We should press the ball tightly with our two hands from the two sides of the ball. The right hand always on upper right, your left hand is lower left. This tip is very important. We can see in the NBA 3 point contest, all the players could not catch the ball tightly in the first time, he always lost his shot. The 11th tip is catch the ball from left side of your body. Catch the ball from left side of your body will lead your right elbow inward naturally for your release point. This skill is famous for many superstars, such as Tracy McGrady and Kevin Durant. The 12th tip is right hand on the upper right of the ball. Kerry Urban's right hand position is a great shooting preparing motion. If you drop the ball down from your set point with no change, you will find your right hand is on the same place. This catch ball skill is efficient for elevating the ball to the correct release point with no adjustment in first time. Then you can shoot faster than the others. The 13th tip is hand drop shot. 
Harry Irwin's hand drop shot form will be more stable in the air than the regular jump shot. Even in the air, he can adjust his release posture to the best release point. So in a critical moment, especially in the NBA Finals, his jump shot always steady. The 14th tip is the vertical right forearm in front view. Kerry Urban's shooting style is shooting from shoulder form. His forearm almost vertical in the front view. This is accord with the straight force shooting theory. After you release the ball, your arm will be straight naturally. This means your shooting force is in a natural straight line. The 15th tip is elevate the ball from abdomen height. Kerry Irving catches the ball position is start from his abdomen, not between his two legs. The distance for elevating is a little shorter. This will lead your jump easily and you can make the release point in a short time and without a big inertia from elevated ball. The 16th tip is right hand be pressed to the biggest extent. I have told you there are three spring forces in our shooting in the last logo shot video. Kerry Irwin's right hand and right forearm is combined to the first spring. With your left hand help, press the ball with a big force to make your right hand pressed to a big extent. Then you can release the ball with a big force. Kerry Irwin's 16 basic shooting tips is all here. Next, let me show you the 12 advanced tips. The 17th tip is the inward chain. This is a good habit to keep Kerry Irwin's upper body balanced when he was shooting. If your chain was outward, that would make your face upturned. Then your spine will be backward. Your jump shot will be like a fadeaway. You know, this will make your shooting harder. The 18th tip is inward right elbow in front view. This tip is very popular in nowadays NBA. This elbow position will help you shoot in straight force easier. Almost all your joints of your right arm in a vertical plane when you make release point. Carry Irwin catch ball from left side of his body. This will lead his release point in inward elbow shooting form naturally. The 19th tip is straight arm. This habit also makes Harry Irwin's shooting card with straight shooting force theory. Straighten your right arm after you release the ball in every shot. Your shooting force will be more straight. The release force can also be more steady. The 20th tip is left hand catch ball. Kerry Irwin always catch ball with this skill. Your left hand catches the ball first after dribbling. Then your right hand put on the ball. Doing this will help your right hand put on the correct position of the ball more easier. So many shooters catch ball with their left hand. The shooting average will always be better in the game. The 21st tip is quick release. Many players think quick release will refuse the block. But actually, all the tips we need just to help our shooting more accurate. Kerry Irwin also shoot with quick release skill, because this will help us to shoot with less force. When we take a super long shot, quick release will maximize the shooting force. The 22nd tip is right arm naturally rightward. This is a feature of shooting from shooter. After Kerry Irwin shooting, his right arm always rightward naturally. This is just because of the shooting force inertia. The shooting force starts from our right shoulder, so our right hand leads the right arm a rightward force. The 23rd tip is right arm shoot to hoop independently. This tip is also make your straight force better. Many players thought they should shoot to the sideline, but actually, our right arm just like artillery. It has an aiming system for itself. So let the right arm independent to shoot to the hoop will make your shooting more accurate. The 24th tip is vertical elevate ball. Initial tip vertical elevate ball skill will help your release force in a straight line. 
Kerry Irving's elevate force and the release force almost naturally link up. His shooting force will not waste the energy. A good initiative elevating skill will also reinforce your release point. The 25th tip is front wrist. The front wrist skill will gather the forces from your five fingers into a smooth, straight force. Almost all great shooters release the ball with the front wrist skill. When you're making the set point, your right wrist nature toward the hoop. Then your five right fingers also nature aim to the rim. Then you release the ball. Your hand will give the ball a natural straight force. The 26th tip is tilt to the left. When Kerry Irving catches the ball, his upper body always a little tilt to the left from the back view. This feature always appears on some good NBA shooters. This skill can help your jump shot more steady. After dribbling and jumping up, your upper body will not backward, and your right shoulder will a little higher than the left shoulder. Your right arm will free to release. The 27th tip is inward right tiptoe. Kerry Urban's right tiptoe is inward, and his two knees also in curve it. The inward right tiptoe will help your right leg is ahead and your upper body will be a little sideways. Then your right arm will free to release the ball. The 28th tip is smallest angle with the forearm. This is the second spring force. Kerry Irving's forearm and upper arm always into a smallest angle when he makes the release point. This will lead your arm give the ball almost the biggest release force, just as a spring. The 12 advanced tips is all here. Next, I will show you the 5 professional tips. The 29th tip is red shooter cover chain inside view. Not only for jump shot, the free throw also should be. Actually, this is a feature of your red shooter force skill. The shooter force can neutralize the press power from your left hand. So when Kerry Irwin prepared to release the ball, his red shooter always makes force to hold the ball stabilized. The third tip is forward red shooter. A great shooter always have some sideways range because this will free your right arm to shoot the ball with no obstacle. Kerry Irwin's right shooter position is good enough to take a long shot. Adjust your shooter's position and remember it. This will help your shooting more comfortable. The 31st tip is two elbows in the same height. No problem. This will keep your balance in the air. Your two arms will hold the ball more steady. And when you shoot, because your two forearms almost in the same direction, your shooting will easy to find the straight force. The 30 second tip is upward right elbow. When Kerry Irving releases the ball, his right elbow will also give the ball an upward force. This helps his shooting with a high arc. And the elbow force can also help your shooting with less force. This skill can also neutralize the left hand pressed force. The 33rd tip is aerial chair feature. This is also a feature about Kerry Irwin's upper body to not backward. We call this aerial chair. When you shoot with this force, sometimes you just like sit in the air. This feature all appears on some steady players, such as Michael Jordan. Now all the tips I have shown you, all these 33 tips, I all have cyclic verified more than 5 times in my past 10 years shooting training, and I mastered all these skills. That means all the tips are summarized from my practicing. To imitate Kerry Irwin's shooting form has two parts, the shooting posture and force. They are all important. If you shoot with the red force, the feature of your shooting posture must be similar to Kerry Irwin. And when your shooting posture is really correct, your shooting force will also very close to Kerry Irwin. 
to test and improve your shooting skill, you must utilize the mirror. Adjust your posture of the release point before the mirror. You'd better catch a real basketball. Do not with empty hands. Make the correct posture more than 100 times one day until your muscle subconscious remembers the feeling. Then your release point will easy to fix. Make videos with camera in every single training day with four angles: front view, two side views, and back view. After shooting training, just go home. To check the details with Corel Video Studio, frame by frame. The purpose of our shooting training is to improve the shooting form rationalized. Just remember a principle: when you adjust your shooting form, if you feel some part of your body uncomfortable, you should adjust your posture to comfortable. Because every rational shooting form all will make your shot. More and more comfortable, the shooting form fitting in with your body structure. That is why we always said that just shoot a ball as comfortable as you can. The Kerry Irving shooting form with 33 tips, I all have analyzed. See you next time.